Big speech from the president last night, and the media wasted no time praising him for it. Roll tape. I think it was very moving. I thought it was really important when he talked about that July 4th goal. He is the guy we need right now. July 4th. Yeah. You know, right. he, he put that on the calendar as well. So Backyard barbecue. Right. <laughs> People are going to be looking at their calendars now with some hope. If, if we all do our part by the 4th of July, we might be able to celebrate Independence Day together, which would be incredible. <laughs> I mean, you really have to laugh, don't you? I mean, July the 4th, oh, we look forward with hope. For God's sake, why don't you get to Florida or Texas and see what's really going on? Adam, the gentleman on the right-hand side of the screen, is Adam Gillette, and he joins us now. The media loved him. They loved the speech. But to me, it seemed like more like political activism. Is that what journalism has come to these days? What's your opinion? Unquestionably, unquestionably, you couldn't pay a PR team to advocate your policies as effectively as CNN and MSNBC and The Washington Post do for Biden. And really, how outrageous were Biden's remarks? It was the classic example of jumping in front of a parade and pretending to be leading it. He said he wanted to have one million Americans vaccinated a day. Well, that happened before he took office. He bragged about linking up Merck with Johnson & Johnson. But they started that under the Trump administration. Next thing we know, Biden's going to claim credit for peace with Israel, and he's going to claim he had a successful reality TV show on NBC. There's no Trump accomplishment that Biden won't take credit for. Oh, what about this July the 4th? Maybe July the 4th. Maybe we can get together in small groups outside and hold a barbecue. Outside, maybe, July the 4th, four months away. That, to me, was an absolute downer. Well, everything we hear from the CDC, everything we hear from this administration is a downer. They suggest that perhaps after vaccination, we could get together in small groups outside with other vaccinated people. All that's encouraging people to do is not get vaccinated. What's the incentive to get vaccinated if we can't have any return to normalcy? We need to move forward. We need to get vaccinated. We need to get beyond this pandemic. And we need government to get the heck out of the way. We need journalism to return to its professional roots. And so far, it shows no sign of doing so. What happens down the road? Tell us. Take us to the future. Please, well, Adam. You know where it goes. Journalists become less and less popular. They get taken less and less seriously. They're playing to a fragmented media landscape, so all they do is write fan fiction stories that their audience wants to hear. They can't be taken seriously, and I've been joking that instead of being regulated by the Federal Communications Commission, they should be regulated by the Federal Election Commission. They're nothing but advocacy for left-wing candidates and left-wing causes. You packed it all into two and a half minutes, and that's pretty good, Adam, and we appreciate it. Believe me, we really do. Good stuff. Thanks, Adam. We'll come and see you again. Thank you very much.